Hey, night nice shift, uh, 62. Hope you're doing well. Just gonna get myself ready. Ah, actually, more or less, I'm ready. Anyway, welcome, welcome all. And you faces as well. Uh, last time I was stuck on this battle with Darth Vader. <laughs> so that bring you up to speed, night like, shift, I'm stuck on what I assume to be the final battle of Darth Vader, because we did the other one where we were uh, uh, running around after his silly ass, and then he runs off, so hopefully we can beat him this time, especially as... Especially as... Uh... Oh, damn it. Oh, damn it. That's the problem I have is uh, getting hit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You just switch to health. Um, those are the only force powers I have, is uh, deflection and um, thing. Unless I've missed one. Like I was meant to pick one up or something. It's gonna be hard without that, yeah. As I've experienced. <laughs> Darth Vader seems impressed.
Oh, damn. Oh, I bloody want him to, uh... Most impressive, so impressive I'm gonna run away. I just throw shit at you. Yeah, I shouldn't try jumping over him because that's a bad idea. <laughs> I didn't have it turned on. I was turned on at the wrong time. Oh. Pfft. I think I fucked up too much though. too much there. Oh shit. Whew. Oh curiosity, where was that um pickup that gave me the force power for health? I feel like I must have left it on Dagobah. At least it is understandable why the boss fight is difficult. Mm, I guess. I didn't fuck up earlier. Yeah, if I didn't fuck up earlier, um, I probably would have had more health. Hi <laughs> there, Orc Dude, how you doing? Uh, get sword kill enemy Jedi win game, please. 
Interesting. <laughs> Are you an actual orc then, or? And yeah, that is a good point, Geek. It is the, it is the fight that Luke actually loses in the film. Oh shit. Now try imagining uh, playing this on jet on uh, Jedi mode. <laughs> I'd rather not, thank you. Oh shit. Oh, come on, that was cheating. Going through my bloody force field and attacking me from the other side. Come on! <laughs> Darth Vader leaves it uh, Master of the cheap moves.
Yeah, Vader is lady cheap, isn't he, Dark? Oh yeah, I forgot to go into Sandy's chat and be a pain in the ass. <laughs> I'll go in there in a minute. Do that if you want to. Yeah, well, of course I do. Look, hang out with you guys. Especially when I was re watching the uh, Castlevania month, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah, give me a minute. Yeah, that was really fun just listening, just, uh, you know. Chatting with you guys, having a good time. Ah, uh, where's that Discord? I knew I was forgetting something. Uh, I'll stick my nose in the usual channel. Where is it? Where is that channel? Do 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 do. Uh, oh yeah, that one. I just usually like to use that one. And you know I'll be there. Yep. For you. <laughs> uh, friends, now that was a series. I never actually watched it, but I know it was... Mm. I mean, fair enough. Days. I mean, how old is Friends now? Like, almost 30. Jesus. Now I feel fucking old. <laughs> I remember it came out in the 90s. Okay, now you're really making me feel old. <laughs> hey, I already feel old. <laughs> I've been watching some videos about an old animated series I used to watch back in the day. Oh, I know what that's like. Code Lyoko. Mm, not have heard of it. It was a French animated series that came to the States. Oh! I wonder if I've not heard of it. This stranger came to the States but didn't come to the place that's closer to France than the States. They probably did, but the only ones I know of are... It was on French TV, and then half a year later, it came out in the States. Hmm. So I'm like, I feel old. It came out almost 20 years ago. Yeah. Well, think how I feel when you were just saying about 30 years ago. Because I remember it being the talk in uh, school. A lot of people who watch Friends and that. Yeah. Oh, god damn it. Damn you, Darth Vader! I should thank Geek for a shout out, too. <laughs> oh, definitely. Don't even shout out Geek without uh, me asking, because I do forget to um, shout people out. I often do. <laughs> I should really do that myself more often, but I do completely forget. I mean, it does help me a little bit, even if it doesn't show much. Yeah. I mean, it gets your name out there, doesn't it? <laughs> well, I made my friends in the early 40 40s old by reminding them Nirvana smelled like teen spirit is over 30 years old. Thus, that is 
now uh, play on the greatest hit section of the classics. <laughs> yeah. Most of my early 40 burns are spun with, how dare you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that. I can, and I can quite understand why, considering. Especially as I would often watch the music video for things like Nirvana, um, Metallica, oh, what else? A whole bunch of uh, emo uh, bands as well. <laughs> Green Day, My Chemical Romance. Yeah. Though I prefer My Chemical Romance over Green Day. I love that one song of theirs called uh, I'm Not Okay, I Promise. <laughs> I just listened to that yesterday, too. Oh, that's a good one, that is. I also have a personal favorite from Green Day. Hmm. Boulevard of Broken Dreams. Oh, yeah. Love that one. Because I was asking a friend, what's the, what's the best theme for emo loners? <laughs> Boulevard of Broken that. Dreams by Green Day. <laughs> And she well, said, no, I think I'm not okay, I promise, from My Chemical Romance hmm. would be the emo loner theme. I think it depends on what you're emoing about. <laughs> like, um, that song with My Chemical Romance fits perfectly with what my uh, school life kind of was. You know, I'm not okay, I promise. Because, <laughs> you know, parents you would always ask... Okay. Uh, yeah, parents would always ask, you know, oh, are you okay? Did you have fun at school? And it's like, no, of course I fucking didn't. But you don't say that to your parents. You just say, oh, yeah, I'm fine. Didn't really, didn't really, uh, you know, nothing, nothing really major happened. I was never okay in school either, no. honestly. In elementary school, I had a lot of fights. Mm. And then in middle school, I got depression. Yeah. So I was never okay. That's, that's pretty accurate what happened to me, to be honest. <laughs> oh, God damn it. I am getting closer, though. Especially as I'm using that saber deflector, and it works really well. Yeah, I'm glad it works. Although someone was saying, oh, why aren't you using the health force power? And I'm like, there's a health force power? And yeah, it seems yeah, like I, I missed that, that on... Uh... I missed that. It was probably on Dagobah where I picked up the powers originally. But I just missed it. <laughs> Which I feel fucking screws you over, doesn't it? Yep, exactly, uh, exactly geek. That's why I really like that song, because that is exactly what it means when... Uh... A lot of people say, I'm fine. If I look like oh, I was upset for a moment ago, don't worry, I'm fine. No problems. But well, yesterday I had more reasons to not be fine. Mm. Oh, what was and that? I, I think I told you yesterday my uncle died. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, I don't remember you saying that. Oh. But maybe you did, and I've got... My memory is awful. <laughs> so say we all. Mm. Yeah, but I always mention it, because I always feel like a dick, like... As if I didn't remember it on purpose or something. You know? <laughs> no worries. I get that too. Mm. And I never know if it's the autism or the depression that makes me forget things. Could be a combination, because I believe both do cause, um... Like a situation where you don't generally uh, pick up certain bits of information. Yeah, then it's probably both. A little bit from column, column A and a little bit from column B.
Oh, damn it, you did it again. I thought Arfe was getting impressed by me anyway. <laughs> Even though he's my enemy, he's very impressed by- Oh sh what the fuck? Now it's real bullshit! What the fuck is this bullshit? I guess- Oh god, I mean I got his health fairly low and then all of a sudden that bullshit happens. He was so impressed, he decided to throw more bullshit at you. Mm. He wanted to be more impressed. Yeah. If you can survive up to this point, how about you survive this? Then I'll be if you can really dodge impressed. a wrench, you can dodge a ball! <laughs> oh god, dodge a <laughs> uh, I, I saw that in the cinema on my birthday, actually, to be honest. Oh, uh, that was a... Whole lot of fun. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. What? Ah! <laughs> no! <laughs> Set that poor guy in the head and the bloody wrench. It's funny how I know that scene, but I never actually watched the movie myself. Oh, not really? Huh. I would definitely recommend it. It's, a de it's certainly worth it. I know it's funny. Mm. Depends if you're in the mood for like um, comedy, you know. He's never not in the mood for some laughs. <laughs> Oh, uh, you know, some, some people, uh, especially when grieving, may not be interested in uh, watching a comedy, you know? I see your point. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying some people, you know, not everyone is going to be always interested in the comedy. Or if a certain comedy has certain disturbing uh, subject matter, that might be a turn off. Like, um... oh, well, one that's very disturbing is that um, that's my boy film. I don't know how anyone greenlit that. Oh God, how bad is it? It's more of the concept, you know. That it's a kid that had sex with a teacher, oh. and it's played for laughs. I think my parents are home. I'll nope. be right back. All right. Take that! Suck it, Dad! Oh, wait. I'm not meant to know that just yet. <laughs>
Oh, damn, I should have kept the power up. Well, I turned the back off thinking I was blocking it. Damn it. How that move get greenlit? Because, yeah. Oh, shit. That's messed up. <laughs> That's messed up, geek. Bloody hell. Also, high adaptable. Well, truth is stranger than fiction. Hmm. I have heard of similar cases, disturbingly enough. Well, that's happened. You know, with a uh, male minor and a teacher. It's happened a lot more than uh, people think. And quite often, the teacher's been like let off of really, like, mild punishments. Yeah. But that's more more of an element of toxic masculinity than anything else. You know, the idea that you're a really a really cool person because you late got laid with a teacher at a young age, you know? Sure. In middle school we made jokes about my teacher, but that's because she was pregnant. Mm. It wasn't anyone in her class, though. So it was. Oh. She was it was just. A, it, it's just a joke, basically, in the class that it might have been someone. No, not like that. Oh. Because I was thinking that's. No, it was more like something we remember in middle school where our English teacher got pregnant. Hmm. Because she had, like, a boyfriend or husband or something. And yeah. She just happened to be pregnant during the semester. Hmm. I quite like what one guy's um, review of with that horrible film saying about the... Um, the double standard, because he was saying, you know, if it was a male teacher and a female student, there is no way that film would have been greenlit. True. <laughs> All too easy, fuck you. Fuck you, Vader. All too easy. It took you this long to kill me. <laughs> All too easy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I come down to a really tiny amount of his health, and he's like, Oh, all too easy. It's like, hardly. Van Halen song, I'm hot for teacher, but it is still, yeah, it is you. True. True. 
There's a... but yeah. Or oh, there's that song by Fountains of Wayne. Stacy's mom <laughs> has got it going on. Yeah, but which song is more you? Mm. Um, to I'd be honest, say hot for, I'd say hot for teacher is more you than Stacy's mom. Mm. I don't remember the lyrics for hot for teacher. Actually, I may not have heard it. Um, it's literally about a guy who's got the hots for his teacher. Mm. Well, I mean, Stacy's mom is about a guy who's hot for, like, a girl at school's mum. True, but I think that's a bit more understandable for young boys than hot for teacher. Hmm, maybe. At least in my experience. There's always hot moms somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. This is the way I see it. Most of us have probably had crushes on the older ladies hmm. at some point in our lives. Yeah, definitely. It's during that difficult age, you know? <laughs> Fucking hormones. They just make you want to kill something half the time. <laughs> I was the weird one when I was that age, though. <laughs> How so? I didn't have any crushes on anyone's parents or anything. I just had crushes for my friends. Same. Or guys. Hmm. That's how I. That's how I found out <laughs> what I was. Ah, it took me longer than that. It. It's obvious looking back, but you know. I mean, back then I didn't really understand it. I was just like, my guys are hot. Yeah, yeah. My my guy friends are hot. Mm. I don't know why I find them that way. I just do. Mm. I I'm like high school. Then I realized, oh shit. Yeah, I never acknowledged it personally. <laughs> to be honest, mm. too afraid to. In some cases, in some other cases, I just. Thought, oh, it's just, you know, hormones being weird. That's what I thought I'd be sure. <laughs> Which is often a thing, isn't it? It doesn't help that my guy friends in middle school were in a band. <laughs> so you were that creepy then? <laughs> Sorry, that's a bad joke. Um, the unknown groupie, if you will. <laughs> the unknown groupie. Now I've just suddenly got an idea for a manga called The Unknown Groupie, and it's about a ghost. <laughs> a ghost that has a thing for the school's band. Oh, God. I mean, that would be an unknown groupie, because... They don't know she exists. You know? I'm not on about in a sexual way, I just mean like in a, a mega fan kind of way. Now I'm re being reminded of this idle dating sim I used to play. Oh, which one? There's so oh, many. <laughs> it's called Crush Crush. Okay, I think I can see why. <laughs> Just from the name alone. <laughs> and one of the characters was a kind of 
crossover with Yandere Simulator. Oh god. Well, two of the characters, I should say, are a crossover with Yandere Simulator. Basically trying game. to jump on the uh, coattails, which is a bit shame because uh, the dev is a dick. I know, but I don't blame the characters for that. Oh, oh no, it's not their fault. The I'm just saying it's, you know, a shame about the game. Yeah. Because I would have, I would have really liked that game. It seemed like uh, something I probably would have really enjoyed. Just Grand Theft Auto in school. Mm, kind of, but like the aspect of how you're meant to no, hide no. your murders and that, you know? I meant to say Hitman in a school. That's, that's, more like that. that's more accurate. If only Yandere Dev wasn't such an asshole. Mm. I think he should have just, uh, you know, taken his losses and gone with um, Tiny Build to get the game finished. Because, yeah, it's not going to have all the features you want, but it'll be done. And he probably yeah. would have made a lot more money doing that. But yeah, Crush Crush has a crossover where two of the characters, the actual Yandere from the game, mm. is a dateable character. <laughs> and in this extra feature added years later called Phone Flings, hmm. you can actually date the ghost of the girl that the Yandere killed to get to you. So yeah, that's why I say two characters. Mm. And the ghost's name is Generica. <laughs> uh, you, can, you can probably figure out why. Because she's unique? <laughs> you said Generica, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. That's why I made a joke there by saying because she's unique. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I beat the game a long time ago, so I don't play it anymore. Even though the phone flings are still a thing going on. That's the only extra feature that could keep the game going. Yeah. After you beat it. Because I beat it. I reset, I beat it again, and again, and again, so I got the maximum reset. Hmm. At which point, there was no need to play the game anymore. No. It's just, a, it's an idle game anyway, so it's hmm. kind of like a time waster at that point. So, I mean, you don't really need to be there. <laughs> yeah, it just plays itself. Hmm. Which I kind of like the idea of those sort of games, especially if you live a busy, like, life with work and shit. I do. Mm. I mean, not necessarily just work, but obviously, you know, education and so on. True. But I did find the girls interesting in that game. <laughs> More interesting than the ones that you were in school? Actually, the, mm. is it school you call it when you're going to education? Because I thought you were like in college or um, something. College, yeah, in mm. college. I mean, often you say like uh, school work. But I think that's just a thing I've seen with American culture. They call it school. It's still homework. Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, it's still homework. Regardless of, uh... What age you do it at. Personally, I'm enjoying the English class a lot more. Hmm. Probably because I've been 
active in that class a lot more than the other ones. Mm. As I mentioned, we're reading Jekyll and Hyde. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the first book we're reading out of four. Did you um, explore the suggestion that I said about the whole potential alcohol reference? At least that's what the oh. teacher told me about was... Uh, the alcoholism? The suggestion that the stuff was like alcohol in a way, because how it changed him from one thing to another, but it was also addicted to uh, the change, you know? I'll probably get to that eventually, but... We'll but I mean, it, the thing yeah. with fiction is there are many different interpretations. It could always just be an interpretation of, uh... What's that thinking? Um... Just that there's other us's inside each other, you know? Yeah. Like Persona. Hmm. Exactly like Persona. There's always that face that we wear in public versus that face that we wear when we're not in public. A lot of people don't seem to get that, especially when, you know, things like stuff with serial killers happens where it's like, oh, but they were such a nice person. It's like, yeah, there's a reason they were. <laughs> it wasn't that they just snapped one day, they'd already snapped long ago. But you don't, gen right. you know, you don't, you don't walk around and say, ha ha. Hi everybody! You know I had a child burger last night. That was delicious. <laughs> oh you, you know, you don't you don't announce these things to people, do you? A lot of people are very private with their lives. I was gonna say the reason why we I have brought up the whole alcoholism alcoholism thing. Mm -hmm. Is because we're still in the mystery part of the book. Oh, okay, so... Ah, oh, shit. Right to the face. You know where the whole mystery between Jekyll and Hyde... They don't know that they're one and the same kind of mm. thing. At least that's... I think what the mystery turns out to be is... Jekyll and Hyde are one and the same. Which, considering... <laughs> The funny thing is with stories like that, though, everyone knows the story, so it's a bit hard to... It's a bit hard to, um... You know, be surprised about it, you know? Much like with Star Wars. Oh shit, Darth Vader is uh, Luke Skywalker's father? Fucking spoilers! You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's a bit hard to be surprised by these things, because they're sort of ingrained into pop culture. Now imagine David Prowse saying that line. <laughs> no, I am your father. <laughs> it's not true. It's not possible. Such a feeling is... It is possible. <laughs> I, I don't do a very good West Country accent. <laughs> It probably doesn't help that you're not from the West Country. No. But I am I close you're... enough. I'm from England. <laughs> but not that specific like part. Wales or something? Pun? You said you're like from Wales or something? No, I've got extended family in Wales. I'm from... Oh. I live in Southampton. Which oh. is like... Well, one, it's the famous port that the Titanic launched from. And it's about the furthest south you can go in the country without being one of the islands. Because uh. we do have an island off of Southampton that's further south called the Isle of Wight. I don't it's know about much as, about England's it's, it's, it's about as south as you can get without actually being in France. Or in the ocean. And I'm about as west as you can get in America before you reach Alaska or Hawaii. Mm. Hey, we got that going for us. <laughs> we got that similarity there. <laughs> I 
as far as the continental United States is. Mm. I'm about as west as you can get. Yep. Speaking They're of... Not too... Oh, sorry, you say? Not too west. Mm. Not too west. I still live kind of close to the border, so... Hmm. That's why if you ever come down here to where I live, you'll <laughs> find a lot of Mexicans. Hmm. But that's California for you. Oh, yeah. Especially Southern California. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm interested in the scene, Arnie. <laughs> I don't know if he's still the governor of California, but I know he was for a very long time. He was, but he's not anymore. Oh, okay. He's just gone back to being an action star or whatever. Or a bodybuilder That's or whatever fair. he was before governor. Our current governor is a guy named Gavin Newsom. I mean, hell, um... Ron Reagan was uh, an actor before he took up politics. Yeah, probably where Schwarzenegger got it from. Mm. But of course, I only know that because of that line from Back to the Future. Ron Reagan, the actor. Now imagine seeing any of his movies. See his movies and then think, my god, he's gonna be president in the 80s. <laughs> hmm. But I love how that was a question, you know, okay, if you really are from the future, who's gonna be the president? And it's like, there's so many things that can happen. There's no way you could know if someone's telling the truth or not about who's gonna be president in the future. You know? Are you thinking about how Doc asked him the question of, like, uh, you know, oh, who's president in this time period? I can't tell you who's president in the mid-50s, but mm. we know who's president in the mid-80s. Yeah, I think you just said, didn't I? Oh, I don't know, mind. Um. Yeah. Yeah, Reagan, that piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, so close that time. Got married with three and a half pips. Oh, there was, um. Ah. Oh. Yeah, Reagan was a piece of shit. Like, the DM. I'm trying to think, which one was Reagan? What? I'm trying to think about what President Reagan is. Like the image of my head, I'm trying to think. Which one is he? Oh no, I was thinking Bill Clinton, never mind. No, not Bill Clinton. <laughs> Bill Clinton was later. <laughs> nice. Well, yes, Adaptable, I've been using them. I use the force block at the force um, thing here to block at, uh, yeah. like an auto block. And then there's also a uh, slow mo, which only affects the items. It doesn't affect Vader. I tested it out just in case. But it's not so broken that it affects Vader. If only. It's kind of like in the first Castlevania game where there's that um, pocket watch that stops time, but it only works on like mobs. It doesn't work on uh, the bosses. So it didn't work on Death's uh, sickles, nor did it work on. Um... Dracula himself. Hmm? Well, I mean, it didn't work on anything, basically. Any of the other bosses. It just, it, it was only for, um, the mobs, nothing else. Just 
curious when looking at the last playthrough. Oh, fair enough. But yeah, this, uh, this ability I, um, the one ability that I have that's been useful, uh, that one is like an auto block. So if he was about to hit me, I block instead. Slow would be great for these things, unfortunately. Uh, it means I can't block his attacks. Because it's a bit of a pain in the ass just to change the... Force power. Because mm. you have to... Like, press select and then move it. And then select it. You can't do that too quickly. Ooh. Yeah, again, three and a half. Got it there. Oh, it was uh, it was really funny when I was watching this um, guy reviewing these awful, awful religious videos. They were made by some um, evangelist who was even running for governor, as was his son, <laughs> at a later date anyway, but I think it was like the 40s or something? Uh, no, no, well, 40s, it was like the 80s, I think. And he had... Loads of... It's quite funny, the, the director he worked with was a chap who was known for making exploitation movies, but had uh, changed his life after he uh, survived a plane crash. Yeah, after he survived a plane crash, he became religious. And uh, when I mean he stopped making... Uh, pop... Um, exploitation movies. What I mean is that he made religious exploitation movies. <laughs> that was funny. Mm. It, oh god, it was um... I think it was Perkle the guy's name was. Something Perkle. That was a priest anyway. Um, or whatever you call him. I mean, ads just popped up while I was watching. Oh. And I got that funny Jack in the Box ad with Mark Hamill. Oh, okay. Which one's I'm that? I'm just thinking. It's the one where Jack shows up on like a Wild West set, and Mark oh. Hamill is dressed up like a cowboy, and then he takes off his coat I... and hat, and he's wearing a Jack in the Box uniform. I saw a Jack in the Box advert recently, actually, but it was just like him walking down the road and then he gets run over by a car. Can't remember if that was in a like a compilation or a failed compilation or something now. Because I don't believe we have Jack in the Box in the UK. There's a lot of things that America has that you probably don't have in the UK. Yeah, I think it's due to certain laws. It's kind of funny because we do have, we technically have a Best Buy. No, Walmart, that's it. We technically have a Walmart. It's owned by the Waldens, but it's not called Walmart. What's it called? Asda. Asda? Asda, A S D A. Oh. But it is, it is owned by the uh, same people, the Walden family. Oh, Ooh. I agree with Geek on this one. You're not missing much with no. a <laughs> jacket in the UK. Nah, I get that. The only food I like of theirs is the spicy chicken sandwich. And even then, there are other places that do it better. Mm. Usually the case in it. Yeah. 
The thing I think everyone's missing out on is Bakers, though. Bakers? It's a little local restaurant here in Southern California. Mm. Oh yeah, there is Taco Bell in UK. Taco Bell did come over recently. Well, I say recently. Oh fuck. <laughs> that was a mistake. I've tried using the gun on him and it didn't work, unsurprisingly. You accidentally switched? Yeah. I mean, I tried it um, last time because I thought, oh, maybe maybe they didn't program him to deflect uh, blaster shots and I could shoot him instead. But nope. So instead you have to play the long game. Yeah. Otherwise I'd be shooting him with the gun, which I've fully upgraded, so... If only there was a way to upgrade the saber. Mm, not here, sadly. There is a way? I said not here, sadly. I don't think there's a way in this game. Maybe in the next one. I... Mm, I don't know much of... Um, Return of the Jedi, to be honest. The uh, Super Return of the Jedi, anyway. Me either. Did you ever play it? I never played any of those. I was going to say, how could you how could you recall something that you never played? <laughs> I was just hoping, honestly. <laughs> Hoping to remember something that never happened. No, just hoping that there was a way to upgrade the saber and return the Jedi. Because as I said, I never played any of the Super Star Wars trilogy. I don't remember... I don't remember that game being as brutal, but... <laughs> I'm probably wrong. I mean, you were wrong about this one. Yep. I was trying to remember which one it was that I played. The only Star Wars game that you might play this month that I played myself hmm. is Bounty Hunter. That's how I know so much about it. Yeah. I've not actually played it before, believe it or not. Despite having a PS2. All I can tell you is that safe states are going to be useful. Hmm. Without spoiling anything about the gameplay or anything. I have seen some of the gameplay and I don't think I need safe states, but I mean, we'll see. I usually it's use save states if it's like but BS difficult, you know. It's one of those games that's just throws enemies at you just for the sake of throwing enemies at you, mm. basically. That's why I said save states are gonna be useful. Maybe then. But we'll see. I never, I never plan to use save states when I get into a game. It just depends, you know. Well, we'll see how good you are at it first, and hmm. then see if you need save states or not. It does have a continue system, but there's very limited continues. Oh, I hate limited continues. Because you only get. So many continues, and if you run out, you have to restart the entire level. Oh. Well, at least you have to restart the entire level, and just not the entire fucking game. <laughs> True. Wow, that was close. I was getting there then. Because there's so many I've played where, especially with these ones, you have to start all the way at the very beginning after all the continues are out. All your lives are lost and all that. Hmm. Yeah, that's why I said after all the continues are gone. Then you have to start all the way at the be beginning. But you know, fuck that. Not to mention considering how hard Vader is right now. Hmm. 
Yeah, imagine, imagine getting to this point, losing all your lives and your continues, and then you had to start the game from the very beginning of the, <laughs> of the thing. I'd be screaming. Mm. I think there is a password system though, so I think they might give you a password, but uh, even then, I don't know what the password system's like. It might be one of those uh, bullshit ones. It might not be. Oh, Sandy was quite pleased the other night when I bought those different Koei games through her, um, thing. On Humble. wonder what you bought. Uh, I can't remember, I mentioned it in chat. Uh... A few of the, um, Dynasty Warriors games. Of course. Uh, what was it? Niho? Niao? Yeah, and, Niho. Uh, and yeah, I've been wanting to play that for ages, but it's just never been at like a cheap enough price for me to buy it. But also now I've got some more um, money to spend, so. There's one game I'm hoping Sandy gets some point. Oh, what's that one? Attack on Titan 2. <laughs> Why is that the sort of game you think she'd like? I don't know because I don't know if she likes Attack on Titan. Mm. Maybe. But I liked it. Partly because you can create your own character. Hmm. Ah. So it's like create your own character and get the experience of so like in the Attack on Titan world. Yeah. Too bad you can't pick what faction you join in the end. Mm, that's You're auto locked to joining the scouts. Yeah, I was thinking you'd probably be locked to join the scouts because I can't imagine many uh, missions you do as the uh, inner wall. What was it the Imperial Guard thing? The inner wall people who. Um... The garrison or the, Imper uh, the military police. That's what it was. Mm. Yeah, I remember one of them was like, you know, they go for the cushy job because all they have to do is essentially guard the king and not much else. That's the military police. Oh, okay. Military police then. The one with the unicorn as their symbol. That's the one. That's the one I'm thinking of, yeah. Fucking dicks. But yeah, them. I wouldn't say they're all bad, they're just trained that way. I'm not bad, I'm just trained that way. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the um... I can't imagine the game being too exciting playing as them. Considering what I've seen of the gameplay, I can't imagine it being too exciting when you're playing as them because... You know, they don't, they don't generally face titans too often, you know? Well, there's an in-story reason why your character joins the scouts anyways. Mm. Well, that makes sense then. Let's just say they were at Shiganshina when the titans attacked. Mm. And that's why they joined the scouts. Fair. Which I say, well, that makes sense. Hmm. And then you basically play as your custom character hmm. throughout what's basically season one of the anime. Nice. I need to get back to finishing that series. I've not really watched much of the last series that came out. I haven't even finished the manga, so I need to get back to reading that eventually.
Oh. I'm gonna close my door real quick. Fair. Oh, you know what? I just forgot to do something. Uh, I forgot to put it up on the disc on the chat. There we go. Let me get into the chat. At least it beats watching you know, hmm. YouTube and all that. Yeah. It certainly makes it easier for people in chat. Especially not to hear me twice and hear themselves twice as well. That's why I mute it. Yeah, fair, fair. I mean, I still keep the stream open still. Just so yeah. Do you mute the tab? Or... Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I've been told that works fine, but some people were saying it didn't, but I don't know anymore. Now I can hear his most impressive. <laughs> At one point he just kept going most impressive, most impressive, most impressive, most impressive. Did you survive for so long? I don't know what it was that set it off, to be honest. Random it... triggers? Maybe. Also, I didn't get hurt while his shit was being flung at me, so maybe that was it. Or when you do X damage to him. Oh, damn it. He came up behind me and shoved the save up my ass. At least that's how I'm seeing it. Woof. Even with the door closed, I can still hire my dogs. Yep. Well, unless you got your room soundproofed, uh, then yeah, you will hear them. <laughs> Hi, well, I don't have a proper door. Oh, oh yeah. I should come if you said what, why or not. Because I broke it. Ooh. How on earth did you do that? I have anger management. Oh, years. oh yeah, yeah, I think you said. It's understandable. And I certainly won't pry anymore because everyone has their own reasons for various anger management issues. Oh, I was just kind of born that way, honestly. Hmm. Yeah, some people, yeah. There have been some people I've met that have been like that. Yeah, they you know, just been, just been, just been a natural thing in their life. It's not something that's, you know. Got any reason to it? Something, it's something you can easily point thing. a finger to as a cause, yeah. I mean, sometimes it's even genetic, so. Arguably, I anyway. Wanna, I wouldn't say mine is genetic, it's just naturally the way I am. I tend to think it's probably because of the autism. Uh, maybe. Makes things frustrating, so, yeah. It could certainly be a part of it.
because, you know, you'll struggle with certain things more than other people. Though, to be fair, I did get very pissed off earlier, which I think was, in fact, more to the autism than anything else, because I was, uh... Uh, as usual, I was like, I think I said before, I'm usually like the repairman in the in the bloody house. So, Mum gave me a new radio she'd bought, because the old one was, like, on its way out, as she said. And I had to struggle trying to get the correct damn uh, radio station. So I had to hear that awful static. You know? Uh, I can see that, I can... And oh, no matter how low good. I put it down, it was just extremely loud in my ears. That can get annoying. It, yeah, that's why I got really pissed off afterwards and I just like... Took a few minutes to sit down and I looked at the time and I was like, you know what, fuck this, I'm gonna go up the shop and start a bit later. Because I've gotta calm down. <laughs> So I say it could be a part of it, but we know so little about how the human brain functions. True. In regards to psychology, anyway. Chemically, we've got a good idea, but even then, it's um, fairly limited. Oh, speaking of brains, it was funny watching this... Um, short that someone did where they were a doctor responding was I think they were a scientist responding to someone who um she's a hairdresser who believed the thing saying that if you're a hairdresser you get hair behind your eyeballs but that's just a myth that <laughs> someone perpetrate that's just a myth someone said the myth goes that you know a mortician knew uh if what the person's work was because they had hair behind their eyeballs But as uh, as the chap showed in an image of the uh, the brain and the eyes, there's nowhere for that to fit. Like, because <laughs> uh, you know, one, how would it get in there? And also, two, there was nowhere for it to fit. But apparently, it's something that people heard was that mortician knew this person was a hairdresser because they found hair behind their eyeballs, but that's, that's bullshit. It's like a lot of bullshit things you hear about, you know? <laughs> yeah. I've recently gone back into gaming on my phone. Hmm. Well, I can understand why it's uh, it's easy. It's the reason why portable gaming took off in such a way, you know, that you're not hunk, you're not like holding a huge uh, a huge system around with you, and you can even do it on the toilet. I'm not saying anything about that. <laughs> we all do. Don't worry, do we all. Do. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's why quite a few handheld systems uh, worked and failed. Like, I loved the game uh, gear, but uh, it was pretty flawed because of how huge it was, and it took, like, six AA batteries. Jesus. Yeah, and it drained them faster than the Game Boy did. If I still had one, I'd show you, but yeah, it's, it would take six AA batteries. So it was quite the beast. <laughs> so yeah, it, it was quite the beast. To take that many um, batteries, and it yeah. drained them like anything. So, 
You can why parent you can imagine why it wasn't too popular with parents. Having to get so many batteries. Mm. Plus the size of the game, it's not uh, the Game Gear wasn't as portable as the Game Boy was. Which I mean I don't know if you ever you ever seen like um an original Game Boy up close? I had one. Oh. Well then you know what I mean. That that itself is fairly big in the standards today. But the game uh the game gear was much bigger. Like much bigger. Like, um uh I think a comparison would be say the Game Boy would be about that size. The Game Gear was like that size. So it was quite Jeez. significantly bigger. It was shorter, but it was like spread out like that. <laughs> yeah, like I said, unfortunately, it uh, it obviously didn't win the uh, portable craze. Did at least have good games on it. Oh yeah. There's a lot of shit on there as well, but I mean, there were some good games on there. There was one I enjoyed playing, was um, a game that was kind of like Castlevania, actually. Ooh. But you didn't have a whip, you were like, but you did have, um, you know, like secondary weapons to use to fight monsters and stuff. Cool. And the cover had a cool looking vampire on it as well. Yeah, I, I quite enjoyed that game. That was a lot of fun. Then there was a, a then there was a Sonic Racers game, which I uh, wasn't too fond of. Part of it being it was one of those Sonic Racers game where it was like, uh, oh, let's give Sonic and his friends a car. I mean, we're totally not being, we're totally not being like um, Ma uh, Mario Kart. Mario Kart. Yeah, we're totally not ripping them off. I don't know what you're talking about. You know? Jesus, how much stuff can you throw at you? More than enough, it seems. Is he ever gonna stop throwing shit at you? Not until I kill him! Why are you gonna get the chance? <laughs> no idea, but I did better than I did last time. Yeah, so the game has got ported over to the virtual, <laughs> to the visual, uh, the virtual console on the 3DS. Oh, did they? Ah, so there you go, Dark. So there is a chance to uh, play them. I wonder what ones if though. Never get the money for them. <laughs> yeah. But I'm quite happy about that, because, I mean, some of them were definitely worth playing. They obviously weren't all amazing, you know, but there were some uh, classics on there, uh, including the original Sonic. Ooh. Plus, unlike the Game Boy, it was full colour. So imagine that. Back when, back when the choice was like Game Boy or uh, like Game Gear, imagine what that was like, having a portable version of the original Sonic. It's full colour too. Yeah, full colour. Maybe not the best resolution, because it was a small screen and, uh, you know, they didn't have like really cool flat screen technology like we do nowadays. But it was really cool to play something that was colour and that small. But at the same time, 
when you think about it, it's also why it was so expensive and it required six batteries that drained, like, that <laughs> drained so quickly. Hmm. Also, I think they had Sonic and Knuckles as well. So, it wasn't just like the original Sonic, they had quite a few Sonic games on there. Stop throwing shit at me! Force power up, so I'm not running out of force. It's sad that this is the... The only way I seem to be surviving these things is by using my force ability that I've been using to attack him with. Which isn't perfect. I did once test if you could bounce these back at Vader, but when he's, uh, it didn't seem like you could, so. Yeah. Shame, really. Would have made this boss fight so much easier. <laughs> but yeah, I do fondly remember the games on there. When I get a chance, I'll look through my phone, because I did write down uh, what games I like to emulate or just play again in the future, because I sold, um... When this chap came over to buy a bunch of my dad's, like, uh, st vintage Star Wars toys and stuff, I sold my Game Gear along with it, because my Game Gear was broken, and... I wasn't interested in, uh, you know, getting it, um... repaired. Like, I could've, but... the damage that was done to it... You know, because what happened was I left uh, uh, batteries in there, and you know what happens when you leave batteries in for too long, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, they melt, <laughs> or they leak rather, and uh, yeah. So I was like, I kind of want to play these Game Gear games again, but at the same time, I don't even want to imagine how expensive it would be to restore Game Gear. It's probably not as expensive as I think it is, but it would still cost uh, quite a bit. Fucking hell. Should have done this earlier. Keeping, keeping the power on because of the fact that uh, he's dumping all this stuff that dumps force power. Oh, now he's stopped moving. <laughs> Ooh, I got him then. Your mind, Darth. Fuck me! <laughs> that just took two days to do that. <laughs> Troubled by the uncertain fate of Hansel, the rebels now only escaped 
uh, escape the Imperial forces on Bespin. Bespin. Yeah, what's Bespin? And we join the Rebel fleet. Well, how'd they pick up Luke? Oh, never mind. He was just magically teleported away. Let's go with that. The yeah. Force. Congratulations, young Jedi! You have been the evil Imperial Lord Vader. Ah, Lord Darth Vader, master of the dark side. You have escaped from the clutches of the Empire with your friends Princess Leia, Chewbacca, Lando Calrissian, C-3PO, and R2-D2. You have learned much about the Force and it is strong with you. Soon you will be a true Jedi Knight, but first you must complete your training with Yoda and overcome your fears by facing Vader again. Fuck that. The super snesting battle continues against the Vader in... Super Return of the Jedi, where you must rescue your friend Han Solo from the slimy Jabba the Hutt and confront Vader and the Emperor himself. Remember, the Force is with you always. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that just took so long. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, fuck me, it did. Jesus. Just wait until it says, you should try this on Jedi difficulty. I think that's kind of what I said there by saying um, that you need to head back to the thing, finish with your train of Yoda. Or maybe it's just pointing out what happens at the beginning of Return of the Jedi where uh, Luke goes goes back to finish his training. I think it's just pointing out what happens later on. Yeah, yeah, more likely. More likely. <laughs> but Christ, that was a hell, hell of a thing. Oh. Now I'll see if I can check out those games I listed because I did write them down because I wanted to revisit them. I had a Japanese um Donald Duck game, but uh, really, yeah. Don't know why. I think Dad just bought like a massive pile of them. Uh, let's see. There's also Axe Battler, which I vaguely remember as a kind of, um, kind of Golden Axe, uh, ripoff. Which is funny, because it's done by Sega, so. <laughs> Krusty's Fun House. You know, The Simpsons' Krusty's Fun House. Master of Darkness, that was the one that was kind of like, um, kind of like, uh, thingy. Oh, Shinobi was on there. That was it, Sonic Drift Racing. Which, it was fun. I mean, it was essentially a Mario clone, but it was fun, you know? It was entertaining. It's not like it was uh, a pile of shit or anything. Ugh, 1993, bloody hell. But yeah, like... That was 30 years ago. <sighs> God damn it, Dark. Anyway, um... <laughs> Oh, but yeah, basically, um, yeah, those games See? were a lot of fun. Try again and Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> that's that. That's my response to try again Jedi mode. Bullshit. Right, next game. The final one, the trilogy. Where is the? Oh, yes, the event one, isn't it? <laughs> Where? Oh, uh, that one. Can't forget that image. Ta da! <laughs> right. I'll also change the thing. Uh, da, 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 da. Return of the Jedi. Like I've said before, my favourite film. Oh, already got that there. 
Alright. There you go. Updated it. Now I just need to go into RetroArch and uh, exit out the game. There you go. I've got various uh, screenshots here from the game. <laughs> I loved uh, I loved what Darvel said about that one, where it's like, uh, there's there's Luke's hot for sister face. <laughs> Cause look, there you go. It, you can like, uh, I don't know if it'll show up for you, Dark, but no, it didn't show up on the stream either. Fuck, never mind. Oh no, it did show up on the stream. <laughs> Hot for sister face. Yeah, his his soft for sister face. <laughs> uh, 